In the world of rugby, being ranked number one is what every team aspires to, right? Well, not quite. At least that's what Springboks coach Rassi Erasmus seems to suggest. While many fans are obsessed with the team's position in the world rankings, Rassi has a very different perspective. For him, what matters is not just the current status, but long-term planning, especially for the next World Cup in 2027. After the defeat against Argentina, which ended the boxers' 13-month reign as the best team in the world, Ireland took the lead in the rankings. And now, is this change at the top a cause for concern for the South African coach? Not at all. Rassi made his thoughts clear on the matter. It only means uh, at the end of 25, when they select the World Cup pool, draw, so um, doesn't doesn't matter now. It's just bragging right now for whoever's on top at the end of 2025. It really counts for the draw of the pools. This response may surprise some, but it perfectly reflects Erasmus's focus, building a strong and deep team prepared for any challenge. And for him, that means giving experience to new talents and testing different combinations on the field. Since taking charge of the Springboks, Rassi has been committed to forming a solid foundation of players, aiming for the next World Cup. Yeah, we, we would like to retain the number one spot, but we've certainly created depth uh, so far whilst being in the Rugby Championships and versus Wales and Portugal. Um, I think we kept 11 players in Cape Town, new players at that. Only played this year for South Africa. He continues to explain how the inclusion of new players has been fundamental, specifically mentioning the performances of Vessels and Ruin. Wessels showcased his versatility by playing both hooker and prop, while Ruin seized his chance to shine, despite not initially being a top choice. The guy like, um, there's so many, I mean, Ruan uh, wasn't even in our mix in the beginning, if you took a look at our succession planning, the way he grabbed his opportunity. Uh, I probably, he was probably fifth, fifth rank of the five locks, if I, if I must be honest. And then with Luet going down, and then Erge going down, and then Stranko going down, and then uh, who was the last guy? I don't even remember. So he was the fifth guy on the rock, and he just came in, slotted in, um, and took that uh, position. Um, he'll, he'll certainly make some mistakes, but he, he's a young guy, he can go to the next World Cup. Depth has also been sought among the forwards, with Johan Grobelar and Gerhard Steen camp integrating into the setup with ease. And we can't forget the fly half position, where Erasmus believes that the youth of Mani Libuk and Sasha Feinberg Mangoma Zulu could be an asset for the future. We're certainly not not trying to create a depth, but uh, trying to stay on top will always, always be in the back of our heads. So even though the box are no longer at the top of the rankings right now, Rassi's focus is on building a team that can compete at a high level, not just now, but especially in 2027. For him, the current ranking is just a detail in the bigger picture of preparation. Do you agree with Rassi? Is focusing on the team's development rather than the ranking the best strategy to ensure long-term success? Leave your comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the news about the Springboks and the world of rugby.